Hello, Stacy Drake here, and this is 2020. The new year, but not the new decade. Anyway, this video, I'm just gonna say some new things about the new year, like Metro North's Harlem Lines, again, just like last year's video. Had hourly service, I took a trip to the city, almost missed my train, but that's... You notice there's gonna be no prices right losing horn in this video. Anyway, just wanna like share my concerns about some things happening on the main line of the Long Island Railroad in the future. Like more shutdowns without any shuttle buses. And them actually getting rid of the shuttle buses between Mineola and Hempstead. I mean this is a big problem. And the main line is going to be, like, left left in the dark. This is just out of control, and it needs to stop. That stuff happened, like, last fall. Even worse than the hourly service in the sp in I forgot if it was spring of 2019 or 2018, but come on. And this whole, like, South Shore favoritism, like, the same thing as, like, the favoritism of the mainstream students in Irvington High School, BOCES. It's like the favoritism of elementary schoolers compared to high schoolers. Anyway, this favoritism of the South Shore, pe South Shore residents in places like Belmore or... Yeah, Belmore or... <laughs> Babylon, Patchogue. It's just like making places on Long Island unsafe to live in. Unlike, uh, no, I'm I'm living in a safe place. If I had to move to Long Island, I would I would go to Floral Park because it's much safer there. Even though you only get local train service to Brooklyn. I think that that Floral Park and Queens Village are, are much better places on the island to live in than on, on like the Port Jefferson branch and Ron Concoma branch. Mm -hmm. So goodbye, twenty nineteen. Hello, twenty twenty, and let's hope that Long Island Railroad does a much better job this this time around. And I do need to say that. These, these, like, oppositions to third rail, no, to third track project and the grade crossing eliminations, come on! We need to blame people like the mayor of Floral Park, because he's been, like, one of the biggest results of the delay of the project. And these business owners are, are just afraid that grade crossing shutdowns and street shutdowns are construction's gonna drive their businesses out of business. No, it won't. There are ways around it. Mm -hmm. So, as the new year, but not the new decade yet, that's next year, 2021, comes, I'm going to be reporting to you this news and watch Camper News Network because he, out of three friends of Pine Power Island and colleagues, is the... Most into the news. Bye.